Hi guys, I hope that you're all really well and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy and I'm a parenting and lifestyle YouTuber. I am a wife to Scott and I'm a mum to Harry. He is six years old. Now I've always been really open about talking about miscarriage and baby loss ever since I started my blog seven years ago and started here on YouTube, gosh, four years ago now? Oh, that seems like a really long time. So I've always been really open about speaking about it. I'm happy to talk about my experiences as well as, you know, talking to other people about theirs. But it's actually been quite a long time since I've sat down here and made a video about how it actually makes me feel and and about any fertility struggles that I have had or am still having. Now, first off, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Clear Blue, and I was actually really touched when they got in touch with me and asked me to be a part of their campaign. They saw that I was somebody who does talk quite openly about baby loss and the things that I've been through, and they have this campaign going called Conceiving Hood, and I really, really love the concept of it. They're basically trying to get people to open up about their fertility struggles and baby loss and try and make it more of a normal subject to talk about. Now I'm a huge advocate of talking about any problem that I'm having. I try and encourage people to talk about them too. I really do think that the old saying, a problem shared, it's a problem halved. I think it's so much better for our mental health to be talking about things. And if me sharing my story can help somebody else, then that makes me a happy girl. So my miscarriage story actually starts quite a long time ago. I was 20 when I had my first miscarriage. I was in a toxic relationship. I lived away from my parents and from my friends and my normal home and it was awful, it was really painful and not a nice experience. I ended up in hospital and it was just all in all very traumatic and a very kind of harrowing thing to happen to a very young, naive 20 year old girl. I moved home quickly after that. And you know what? I never really addressed that miscarriage. I never, it never really sat with me. I kind of just went on with my life. I got a new job, I made new friends. I was back in my hometown and yeah, it just was the kind of thing that I didn't really think about too much at that age. I think I was just too immature to kind of address it properly. Um, I don't think I really wanted to address it. I didn't really want to think about it anymore. I just wanted it to be one of those things that happened and I just wanted to move on from it and get on with my life as a young girl. I then was really lucky to fall pregnant out of the blue when I was 25 with Harry and I was just over the moon. Do you know what? It didn't even cross my mind that I would miscarry again. I didn't even think about the fact that I had miscarried. Obviously I had to tell my midwife and everything, but it just never really worried me. I don't know what it was. I think I just felt like this was a healthy pregnancy and it was just gonna be fine. And I think I was still quite young at 25 and yeah, it just didn't really cross my mind that I could lose this baby too. Obviously, fortunately, I didn't and I had a normal pregnancy, normal labour and Harry was born and he was lovely. I then went through another loss. So in 2016 I was rushed to hospital, um, I had severe abdominal pains, like I cannot describe to you how bad these pains were. It was worse than labour pains but I just knew something was really seriously wrong. I was rushed to hospital and I was actually in surgery within 45 minutes and I was having a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. I'll leave a little bit of details about ectopic pregnancy below because I get asked all the time when I mention it what it actually is and I would rather give you the facts so I'll pop a link to the ectopic pregnancy trust below in case you want to know a little bit more but basically the long short story of it is that an ectopic pregnancy is when a pregnancy develops outside of the womb so it can be somewhere else in your body in my case it was in a fallopian tube which then couldn't contain this little embryo that was trying to grow and it burst and it left me with one fallopian tube so they had to remove my left one and I had a huge cut across my stomach so where you would normally have a c-section I have a huge cut across there um, and it was it was really really scary it was definitely one of the most traumatic things I've ever been through. I think mainly because everybody just kept saying to me how lucky I was to be alive. Like the doctors were like, you've bled so much. This is like 
something that kills people and you have made it and I think that scared me more than anything and then obviously I then had to grieve over the fact I'd lost a baby as well um, and I think you know I was only six weeks but it doesn't matter like six weeks pregnant you're you're being told you're pregnant and then you're being told that you're not all at the same time it was a very confusing situation for me and yeah it made me feel really sad for a really long time I spent a really long time being incredibly angry at my body after that we didn't try to conceive again for quite a while because I was firstly so scared that it was going to happen to me again and then secondly I just felt so like mad at my body I felt like it was working against me in my head I was like I don't know anyone this has happened to like why would this happen to me like my body's just obviously it just doesn't work I just assumed that my body was broken but like I said we spent a little while not trying we just focused and put all of our love into our little boy Harry who was just thriving by then I also went on a charity trek to Amman which I would never have been able to do if I was trying to conceive or if I'd fallen pregnant and we were also planning a wedding and we got married so after we got married I had this really strong overwhelming feeling that right this is the right time this is you know we've got a nice clear year ahead we're both really healthy and I just felt like it was the right time to start trying again and I just in my head I was like I know that this is we're gonna make a baby and it's gonna be fine and that was when I started to start tracking my ovulation I used apps I started taking fertility supplements another way to track my ovulation was to use the clear blue ovulation sticks so you just pee on these sticks and it detects two hormones in your body to tell you when you are ovulating and the best time to try to conceive so to have sex basically to try and have a baby now the clear blue ovulation sticks were amazing for me mainly because my cycles ever since my ectopic pregnancy a couple of years before that have been really all over the place literally my cycles could be from anywhere between 33 days to 45 which is a really really long cycle every time I put my cycles in an app it would tell me a different date I was ovulating and actually it condescended the sticks so the sticks were very accurate and I actually managed to fall pregnant within three months of trying I really think three months is pretty quick especially when I hadn't been trying for a while and obviously I have one tube and I just think like I feel like the odds were against us but three months of trying seemed quite quick um, and I really think because we put those measures in place like I was tracking my cycles I was tracking my ovulation with the clear blue sticks and obviously I was taking supplements I really think all of those things together helped sadly this pregnancy wasn't meant to be either I was due to have an early scan at six weeks and the day before I actually started to miscarry I knew like the minute I woke up I just didn't feel the same like my boobs didn't hurt anymore I didn't feel sick um I started bleeding throughout the day and it just got worse and worse and I just knew I was devastated this I don't know why but out of all of the losses that I'd had this was 100% the worst one I just felt literally like my heart had been physically broken it doesn't matter what anybody tells you a loss is a loss it doesn't matter you know whether you've got that baby in your arms and you lose them or you're six weeks pregnant <laughs> it's the same thing like you've lost a life that you've created and you know from the second that you get that positive pregnancy test you've planned that child's life I'd already thought about where it was gonna sleep what it was gonna be called like what pram I'd choose you know what it would look like if it would be a boy or a girl you just automatically think like that you can't help it again I went through an awful stage of just being really angry at myself and I just felt like something I did was wrong maybe I ate the wrong thing maybe I didn't take the supplement that I should have done that day or maybe I did some exercise that I shouldn't have done and again I just went through this awful stage of being really angry at my body and just feeling like it was really failing me and not doing what it should do as a woman. I actually filmed a video I think it was like the day after I had my miscarriage I'll pop a little link to it below because some of you might find it I don't know helpful it was 
one of the rawest and most honest videos I have ever made. It was like right in the moment and I thought I just want to talk about it and do you know what? It was something that really really helped me get over that stage of the miscarriage. I think just opening up and telling everyone all in one big go so I didn't have to keep telling people when I saw them or you know I didn't have to keep going over it online it was there and people could see how I felt and I just didn't want it to be something that I felt like I had to hide I share everything online and I felt like you know this is something that's happened to me and I shouldn't be ashamed to share it and like I said it made me feel a lot better for sharing it not not like a hundred percent better but i definitely felt a lot better for talking about it and then the amount of messages i had afterwards i literally was flooded with messages from people who had either been through a miscarriage were going through one had had one years ago and it was still affecting them um or were having fertility struggles and actually one girl messaged me and this really stuck with me this girl messaged me and she said that my video had helped her to pluck up the courage to tell her family that she'd been through a miscarriage um, a year ago. And I was really upset, really, um, I was devastated actually for her because I just felt like, I felt so sad that she hadn't felt brave enough to speak to her family about a miscarriage that she'd really been struggling with or that she perhaps felt ashamed and that it wasn't something that she should talk about. Um, and then I felt proud because I thought, I'm really glad that I have spoken out and made somebody feel like they can as well. Very sadly, it is in fact pretty normal now for couples to struggle to conceive and for people to have to go through miscarriage. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon, but what can change is our reactions to it and the way we approach the subject of miscarriage and fertility and make it such a less taboo subject to speak about. I do understand that for some people talking about baby loss and miscarriage is just too painful, it's just too hard for them to speak about it themselves but I just want to make sure that those people are you know not speaking about it for those reasons and not because they feel ashamed to talk about it. So where am I at now I hear you ask? Obviously miscarriage has affected me and it will always be with me. Um, I'm definitely okay, like I feel strong, I feel happy to talk about it, and I feel like I'm in a good place. I've stopped hating my body. <laughs> um, it's taken a long time actually, and I definitely have days where I feel a little bit angry at it still, but I have definitely got in a better relationship with my body. I have read a lot and I've learned a lot and I just know that my body is trying to do everything it can and it's not broken. So I've been using my apps to track my cycles, I've been taking my supplements still and of course I've still been using the clear blue ovulation sticks. It's never a happy subject to discuss but I hope that it's kind of made someone out there feel like they could maybe speak up when they need that help with miscarriage or fertility problems or it's made you want to go and speak to a GP about your own issues. I just hope that this video has done something like that and had an impact on somebody. And of course the comments section below is always open or you can private message me over on my Instagram which is Lucy and the Bump. I am always there for a chat. I get a lot of messages but I do try and get back to every single one of them and I am very open and if you just want to vent to me about the way you've been feeling um, about trying to conceive or if you've had a recent loss, then I am very happy to talk to you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. It really means a lot. Make sure you like it if you did, and don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see you next time. Bye.